guys, so in today's video, we are going to be talking about the Canucks' 5-1 win versus the Ottawa Senators. And this game was a nice one to watch. And that's because, well, pretty much everybody on the Canucks performed well in this game. But more importantly, the first line actually did something. It all started with this goal. And I know they scored, but I was pretty worried about Pedersen on this play because he drops it back to Quinn Hughes. Even though they score, this just shows that even though he had a straight shot to the net, he just didn't have enough confidence to take it. But Pedersen was pretty solid in this game. And I mean that kind of literally. I mean, look at this hit. He just looked like a brick wall. Miller also scored his second goal of the game on the power play. And for once, on the power play, Pedersen took a shot that actually went on the net. And guess what happened? Yes, he scored, finally. So out of the first time, Besser was the least productive player. He was just kind of invisible in this game. Now let's talk about Tyler Mott. He scored two goals in this game, but the most important goal was his first one, because in that first period, the Canucks were trailing 23-7 to in the shot department, so if he didn't score that one, the game would have looked a lot different. Okay, I know I'm not the biggest Tyler Myers fan, but I just have to appreciate how much he broke the ankles of that center player. And once again, Hoglander was magnificent. He was all over the ice. And once again, he tried his daily between the leg shot. Well, I just have to say again, I'm so excited to see what he becomes. Because right now, he looks like he's going to be a really, really special player. So overall, this was just a nice, comfortable win for the Canucks over the Ottawa Senators. And we finally got to see the Lotto line do what they do best best, which is produce. And they definitely didn't look as frustrated, because last game, Miller definitely voiced his frustration. You could literally hear it on the TV. And lastly, let's talk about Thatcher Demko. He was incredible in the first period, making 23 saves in 20 minutes. He just looked really steady, confident, and was just overall really, really solid for the Canucks. And if he keeps playing like this, I really think that he will be the number one goaltender for the Vancouver Canucks. And this could possibly happen, but tomorrow the Canucks have another game against the Ottawa Senators and Braden Holby will be in net. So this will be Holby's chance to say, no, I'm going to compete for the number one spot. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.